here we are with the main gold episode 9 and yeah last episode we started the bronze exam right and yeah could be inter interesting to see what happens when they fill this vessel thingy right to see will nothing happen maybe with alto or maybe it will just completely explode or some shit and something crazy will happen um and yeah otherwise we saw alto joins the student council and it seems to me like the student council has something against the may or not i i don't know we will see seems a bit suspicious the student council president with her weird looks and everything and then she chopped off the head of the statue in the church hmm but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Yes, indeed. It sounds kind of easy. Who is student number one? <clears throat> uh, intro before we get the answer. <laughs> is it Alto maybe that is student number one? <laughs> Starting with a bang. Or maybe he will be the last one. Or maybe he will, will be in the middle. <clears throat> I guess he can't be the first one, right? Because we first have to see how others are doing, right? To see what is like normal, right? And then we see Alto and see... That either he nothing happens or something crazy happens. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Mhm. Mm Nothing really. He's almost shitting his pants. <laughs> Oh, he wants to show off. Did something change? The flame looked a bit bigger, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Eighty-seven. Well, here she comes. I guess something will happen with her, right? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, 
All right. Didn't expect it that much. So what will happen with Alto? Either nothing, too, but that would be, I guess since nothing happens for most, I guess that would be kind of weird. So I guess it will go crazy. Okay. He's not just showing off. Yeah, Marx will fail. <laughs> I guess she also has a big flame. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> These big flames look all the same, so it's hard to gauge who does better than the other, right? At least something is happening, right? Alto? Hmm, was easy. <laughs> Here comes Alto. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Explode that fucking ball. <laughs> <clears throat> now nah, that's my familiar. Hmm. <laughs> of course. A what? From here, you can feel it better. <laughs> Alto the big brain. Then I'm doing it from the back. So what will happen now when he goes in with this potent manner and from the best source, from the best direction? <laughs> no matter what happens, he passes. Come on, explode that fucking thing. What? Okay. Is he taking maybe the weakest one? <laughs> that looks very impressive compared to the rest. The most difficult spot, I guess, otherwise he would explode that fucking thing.
<laughs> Come on, still break it. That would be amazing. Here we go. And she didn't even join. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Break it. Break that fucking ball. <laughs> yes. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner <laughs> the hardest point and he explodes that fucking ball hell yeah that's what I want to see failed <laughs> for property damage they're like Perfect. That's my boy. <laughs> Perfect score. Here you can you you finish the bronze exam, you can go home. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Nope. <laughs> He's just that good. Oh, hello. Here we go. He has a power. But I mean... <clears throat> I guess he might do something that even a platinum might find tough, but will he? Could he win against a platinum? I think not. Nice food, because I think it's it might not just be his power that why he wouldn't win. It's maybe more like experience, right? Like combat experience and all that stuff. And like maybe variety in spells and shit. <clears throat> and what is it? What? I guess Alto will also have no problem with the written exam, right? <clears throat> mm. 
one. Who was it? Exactly. Do we finish it this episode? Oh, yeah. Here they go again. No episode without. <laughs> God damn. But I need mana. <laughs> <laughs> because your heart is my heart, and my heart wants it right now, very badly. <laughs> Overly strict. Oh, that's him. Yeah, I f guess he feels he didn't like what he saw. <laughs> but how he walked by seemed a bit sassy yeah he's pissed Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> I wanted to say, I guess he gets manipulated, but I guess he just dies. Okay. Is he taking his place? Maybe. Can he change his looks? Is it that easy? Just have to take it and it doesn't matter how you look? Like, okay. Well, he didn't plan to.
Is that how she really thinks? Or is she just saying that? I mean... <clears throat> because, I mean, he would have died otherwise and... And he didn't really do it right. Damn those eyes. Damn those eyes in the shot here. Yeah, she seems very suspect. <laughs> because you like it. I have a bad feeling. Like the last time when they were split up. Bad feeling. Oh, does he sit right next to him now? I wonder who it will be. <clears throat> okay, he didn't change his look. I mean, he has no school uniform on, right? Looks completely different than anyone else. Not suspicious. Completely normal. <laughs> so yeah, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, expected, right? Uh, Alto goes completely crazy on the crystal ball. But I mean, also, I've seen it often in other anime where they had stuff like this, right? And then nothing happens like uh, Misfit of the Demon Academy, nothing happened because his power was too great that it showed zero or something. I think it was zero, right? Or like, um, here, um, how to not summon a demon lord. Also, they had the mirror, and I think, no, I think something happened there, right? It wasn't zero, it was not nothing, or. I can't remember if it was nothing or if it was completely crazy. No, I think it was completely crazy. Like, I think the whole building was shaking or some shit. But I mean, there are examples where nothing happens because the power is too great that it can't, like, come up with a number, right? So it just shows zero or some shit or nothing happens. Um, but yeah, in this case, something happened and he chose even the, the worst position and completely burst that shit. And yeah. Now we have basically the bad guy, the one platinum guy here in the exam, which is completely dumb because he looks completely different than anyone fucking else. Everyone else has a fucking school uniform on and he looks completely different and random. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Did anyone see him before? No, no one? Okay, yeah, that seems normal that no one can remember this one guy. Very... Dumb, I would say. And yeah, then we have to see him with the student council president again. The eyes of her looked very cool in this episode, uh, in the two or three shots. But yeah, funny again that she's like, or that they're like, yeah, why did he choose to take her heart? He didn't choose to do it. The maid just did it to save his life because otherwise he would be dead. Because he already was dead, so he didn't choose anything. It, the maid just did it. Um, yeah, very funny that they say, why did you choose it? Um, and I mean, the maid didn't really do it for love. I mean, surely that's part of it, but she did it mainly to save his life, right? Because she felt bad that she killed him. So she wanted to give him the life back, make up for it basically. Um, but I mean, yeah, love is a part of it too, right? Because she likes Alto. <clears throat> and what I feel like is 
a bit weird is the last thing she said basically is like yeah they did it for love that's a miracle because it's demon and human and she's like yeah but it's called miracle because it doesn't exist so is she saying with that basically there is no love really they think it's love but it's not real or something like that along those lines maybe so it, it really <clears throat> Or maybe she says it in a, she means it maybe in a way of like, yeah, it doesn't exist. So it's something special in this regard, right? Because earlier she said that, it's, I don't remember the exact words, but something along those lines. Yeah, isn't it good that a human and a demon are together, right? That's good, right? So it contradicts it itself a little bit i would say if she means it in a negative way like it doesn't exist when she earlier said like yeah it's good basically yeah i'm a bit i'm very suspect of the student council right and yeah very interesting right can i i really want to know more about the student council president what's her deal is on which side she is basically is she like is she like or alto and um verme or is she completely against them right i don't quite get it so far it seems like unclear and yeah so but i mean at, at least it seems like that the may that nothing happens to the may right now because the platinum dude is with alto now in the exam so i guess he wants to make contact with alto right now i guess but we will see. Maybe he does something to Alto and then the is in danger and Alto's in danger because they are intertwined and all that shit. So yeah, will be interesting. I have a bad feeling again, right? <laughs> or maybe nothing happens in this episode. Maybe he just wants to make contact with him and check him out basically and then just leaves. We will see. But yeah, that's the episode. If you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.